Coach Chris Commentary. My topic, former NFL head coach, Marty Schottenhammer. Oh, Marty Schottenhammer was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2014. Uh, this year, seven years ago, he's been moved to a hospice facility near his home in Charlotte, North Carolina. He's listed in stable condition, but, you know, he's a, you know, Hall of Famer. Uh, he's, he's in the Chiefs Hall of Fame. You know, um, 77 years old, he coached in the NFL for 21 years. And like I said, you know, this disease is terrible. It's, 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 it's sad to see a person go through it. Uh, it's similar to the disease they call uh, uh, dementia. Um, when you get in the later stages of this disease, your memory goes and you start to uh, forget the the important things of life. Like, you know, your mind will go all the way back to the childhood. Um, you know, you can forget what's going on now. Um, like I said, you know, uh, in these videos, when I heard something going on like this, it goes back to my mom. She had uh, she had dementia, and when it got to the stage where she forget who you are, uh, she don't know your name anymore. And I can imagine what the Schottenhammer family is going through uh, with this Alzheimer's. Uh, you know, he look at you, she look at you, and they don't know who you are. And uh, it's a sad uh, feeling when. The person you love, your dad, your husband, your mom, they look at you and ask you, and who are you now? Wow, the hurt to come on your heart to know that this disease is real. This disease is powerful. You know what I'm saying? It, just, it takes over your body. It takes over your mind. And like I guess I can imagine what the Schottenhammer family and just going through, you know, they're trying to keep them uh, peaceful, uh, try to keep, you know, all the loved ones around them, uh, you know, to be around them to show them, you know, even though he might not know who they are or what they mean to him, but they know who he is. So they're going to sh stay with him and show him love, you know. And then on my side with my mom, you know, I try to be there every step of the way. Even on her last day, I was trying to be there. Um, and, you know, you know, to the point where I just want to be with her, knowing that I didn't know the day that she was going to leave me, but I know it was coming soon, the way that, you know, the this uh, dementia was having her. Uh, she didn't remember who I was. She didn't know my name. That was a hurtful, you know, hurtful feeling. But back to Martin you know, Marty Schottenhammer, the same thing. You know, his family's going through what I went through with my mom. Now they're going through with, you know, their dad and husband and everything. And it's a hurtful feeling. And, uh, you know, to see what a person go through um, with this disease, I wouldn't wish that on my, on my worst enemy. I wouldn't. I, I just couldn't see a person go through that like that. But, you know, um, you know, Marty Schottenhammer meant a lot to a lot of people. He touched a lot of people wherever he went, and he got a lot of people that love him. I'm pretty sure all his uh, former um, uh, football players is reaching out to him, showing him love, let him know that, you know, they're praying for him and they'll be there for him and all that. So, you know, once again, uh, former NFL head coach Marty Schottenhammer. Praying for you, coach. Uh, praying for a miracle. 
to bring your uh, sense of uh, thought back, praying that, you know, you be the first one to come out of this, uh, you know, the first one to uh, snap out of uh, of of the disease that that uh, is uh, undefeated, and um, you know I'm praying for that. You know miracles happen every day. Uh, why not happen again? So once again, um, former head coach Marty Schottenhammer, get well, buddy. Coach Chris commentary. I'm out. <laughs>